All righty, here we go. Here we go. It says the connection is excellent. Well, that's good. What a delight. All righty. Let's rock and roll on this. Explore a little bit. Maybe I'll wait a minute for some people to show up, or maybe I'll just start. Who's to say what I will do? Oh my goodness. What's goof? I'm goof. I am so goof. Today we're going to explore some of the beta areas from the 1997 build of Ocarina of Time. Now, I've been covering this a lot on the channel, but I thought it also would be fun to do a little live stream because, you know, it's a little bit more interactive. And also, to be frank, there's some areas I haven't taken a look at yet. Um, and I'd like to explore those as well. And, you know, maybe if they're fun, I'll do an episode on it uh, in the future. Or maybe if everyone's tired of it by that point in time, I won't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah, regardless of that, we're just going to go ahead and have some fun here. Let me know how the audio sounds, both my voice and also if I need to raise or lower the, the game audio. He's goof confirmed. Notification squad. Yeah, make sure that, uh, well, obviously if you're here, you probably got notified, right? But, you know, if you are not or have not clicked the bell, definitely do so. It helps the channel, helps us get views, helps us fight the YouTube algorithm, which is a real pain, real horrible pain. Can't hear game audio? I have it pretty low, but I can certainly increase it. Let me know if it's too much. How's that? It's just a real low ambient uh, gurgle right now. So let me know how that sounds. If it's overpowering. There we go. Oh yeah, so this is the early uh, fairy fountain. Unfortunately, it's not the unicorn fountain, but it's still pretty cool. And it's very similar to Unicorn Fountain because that fountain had, you know, uh, a centerpiece, a, uh, a bird bath centerpiece, and the unicorns popping off of the side. This is, you know, kind of functionally the same, but uh, visually different. Hair too loud. Um, so I can reduce the game volume a touch unless you mean my voice. Uh, let's do it just a little bit more. Bring me a little bit up. There we go. This isn't a recreation. This is the real beta. Yep, this is the real beta. Yeah, about half of the 1997 build was discovered. And all of the maps are different. Uh, there's uh, like 120 some of them, 130 some. And luckily enough, they were put on some of them. Some highlights were put on a ROM. Some of these you've probably seen before. Into the void. Into the void. Also shot in the dark, it's not possible to recover uh, the data on the cart. So the way that my understanding that flash memory works is that uh, if it was a different type of memory, yes, possibly. But since it was flash memory, the F0X build that was overwritten, uh, that overwrote the Ocarina of Time build, likely completely wiped it out, um, just based on how flash memory works. And then chances are multiple builds, because the, the cartridge has a bunch of different games on it, so or rather it's labeled, if I recall correctly, with a number of different games, uh, none of which are Zelda. 
So chances are it's rewritten and rewritten and rewritten. So any of that original Ocarina of Time data is uh, real gone by this point. But it definitely gives me hope that we'll see something in the future, that's for sure, uh, considering we have all of these. Uh-oh. It didn't like that. It froze. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this fixed. Come on. Project 64 is uh, it's no longer responding. Let's try this again. There we go. Hopefully this will be visible. Oh, not yet. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Back in action. Sorry about that, guys. Project 64 apparently just kind of took a dump on me. The heck? Now the controller isn't working? Seeing my input. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Scared me for a second there. So, my guess, and maybe I'll do a little bonus video on this one, um, but Z64 me guesses that this is kind of just a super early version of the Great Deku Tree or Fairy Tree beta. And chances are he's right, because that is just sort of a big spiral. So, this is kind of like a beta of a beta. You can see sort of like the wood outline here. It seems like we're in some sort of like organic structure, which would make sense for the uh, Great Deku tree, which, but it's just pretty fantastic how tall this whole thing is. So you go to the very top and let's just see how far we go. So far. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. Zell is here. Now, I want everyone to keep an eye on Zell's uh, Twitter page because Zell is working on some... He's working on these, but he, the, the project he's working on is like adding in actors and all of these crazy things. So basically what he's doing is, is sort of like a version of this, but a little bit more um, like populated, interactive, if I have that right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, he's got some really cool stuff that he's working on. And I've also featured a lot of his stuff on the channel before, so if you're familiar with The Missing Link or uh, Star Fox 64 uh, Survival, uh, he was a main part of the team that did those two projects. So just absolutely chef's kiss in terms of the work that this gentleman does. They're absolutely uh, fantastic. Someone's working on the landmine item too. Ooh, ooh. 
Uh, Zell, what's your Twitter handle? Let me uh, find this over here. Let me go on to the, the interwebs so I can put his Twitter handle in the chat. It's at Zell640. That is Zell's Twitter handle. Game Over Jesse is here as well. I just did a little chat with Game Over Jesse the other day. Yesterday, as a matter of fact. All right. The Chamber of Sages. Can I... Is there any structure that I can go... No, I can't! <laughs> I shouldn't have assumed, assumed that there was anything I could stand on. Other than the main structure, of course. Come on, you. Come on, you. Get back there. Get back there. No! Where am I even? <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, Dave, the super chat, thank you so much. Uh, I've been waiting... I've been waiting, hoping for over a decade for this, and it's finally here. I can't believe it. Uh, thanks to all the people that did this. Um, there's a question that says, Tony, can you clarify where these maps came from? Uh, there was an F-Zero-X cartridge, a development cartridge, and it had F-Zero-X on it, but there was an overdump of Ocarina of Time. So if you imagine a cartridge visually and the amount of space available like this, basically this was Zelda, and then the cartridge was reused and flashed over with F-Zero-X. So F-Zero-X took about half the space that Zelda took. So it basically erased half of this ROM. But there, but there was still half of the data. So basically what that means is that all the, the maps, the script, and like the, the images, textures, and stuff survived. Which was... Amazing. Uh, not as wonderful as if the moment-to-moment -moment action and story and, and uh, models and, and uh, NPCs and stuff survived, but this is much better than nothing. Uh, so that that's where, where it comes from. Uh, no character data, data, to my knowledge. I believe it was just images, textures, maps. <laughs> All right, now before I just die, I already did the fountain. Let's go ahead and do the Temple of Time. Now, if you recall uh, from early screenshots, also from that uh, Brazilian VHS tape that I preserved, the Triforce is upside down here, which is sort of like an odd thing. Um, also, it's kind of not truly really like a the Triforce. Well, I mean, it is, but if you take a look, I can't remember if it's like this in the retail version of the game, uh, not in terms of being upside down, but this middle triangle, like is larger and kind of like overlaps <laughs> the, what would be the base as if it were it flipped upside down. The doors are different. Um, you have this uh, medallion here in the center, which I can't remember. I don't think it was there in the retail version of the game, but I don't remember every single detail. Uh, but yeah, just kind of a different space. It's very cool. Upside down, Triforce. This is the Super Bowl for N64 fans, yeah. <laughs> is there a way to contact, uh, an email to contact 64, Z64Me? Um, I don't think so. I've never contacted him via email, personally. But you can you can leave a comment on his uh, YouTube page, which I put in the link. I put a link uh, to his YouTube page in the description below. He may respond, I'm not sure. I wonder if there is another cartridge. Uh, with the other half of the game, or the other half of the data. Um, I hope so. We can we can hope and pray. Don't know for sure. I'm sure it exists somewhere. Into the void. Into the void. Is this the entrance or the exit? Here we go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Nothing really over here, but there is some area underneath, which is interesting. A little ledge here, which leads to nothing. Ooh, 
little pathway. Into the void. Now, Cave B is what we, um, or what uh, Z64Me speculated to be the Goron Mines. I also heard that this was maybe Goron City. Um, I'm leaning more towards it being the mines because, good lord, how could this be a city? But also, why would they have it at all? I don't know. Um, but it is uh, obviously uh, marked by these Rondo of Blood X's. Castlevania, Rondo of Blood, Doshin the Giant, Super Mario Kart RPG, Legend of the Seven Zeldas. Oh, this is fun right here. So you can get stuck down here. It's just like, it's like a weird area that it's like they didn't have like a void for you to go down and then respawn above. Um, but at the same time, it's not far enough down to like kill you or anything. It just, you know, obviously you lose some health. Um, but there's no way to get back up. So it, it's kind of like a very, um, it's kind of like a, de a development flaw, <laughs> so to speak. There's like, to my knowledge, there's nothing. Maybe there would have been like a ladder or something. I don't know. But like, goodness, this is uh, uncomfortable for Link. Uh, Luke gave us a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, considering the exposure that this beta content got and how it was found, uh, what do you think the odds would be of the community finding more content like this now that has been proven to exist? Um... I don't know if the odds are any different. I think that maybe some people have been more excited or possibly reinvigorated, and, and that may help the odds. Um, I think that a lot of the people that were looking for it to begin with are still looking for it. And in terms of, like, earlier builds or the other half of this build or what have you. But uh, I think the odds are approximately the same, to be honest with you, which... You know, the last two years have been great for, for Zelda fans, for, for Nintendo fans in terms of, like, preservation. You know, there's been the Giga Leak, there's been this. Um, there's been a lot of stuff. So it's it's really been pretty exciting. I mean, like, you could, if you were to ask my wife the day that this was coming out, you know, as I was prepping my video pre its release, I was like almost shaking with excitement. It was, it was uh, like, beautiful. Geez, so many comments, guys. I love that you guys are so active. John Bennett is here, my boy. I can't wait until in 20 years we were talking about the Breath of the Wild sequel that will probably be delayed until cancellation. <laughs> John. I think it'll come out... My prediction is that for the 35th anniversary, they will announce um, the the release date. That is my, my, best, my best guess, is that they'll announce it then. Here we go. Let's go to Cave A. Cave A is a real doozy, if I remember properly. It's literally just a cave that is so large that it has no business being a cave at all. <laughs> You guys are great. Thank you so much for all the amazing comments. Here we go to the end of the cave. Now, I was on Game Over Jesse's channel last night. Uh, we did a podcast after this. Uh, definitely check out Game Over Jesse's channel as well. Um, but one thing I was going to mention was that my mic was having some issues and it was starting to get a little staticky. So if you noticed that today, let me know immediately and I can make some adjustments. I want to make sure the sound is, is good on this, uh, or at least as good as can be. Oops. There we go. Death Mountain Crater. Now, this game was such a dark, dark 
game. Not thematically, but just visually. <laughs> so dark. I can't see anything. Ooh, this lava's feeling pretty good on my toesies. $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, super bullet 516. Don't stop what you're doing. You are appreciated. Thank you. Well, in this case, I'm just trying to cover it the best I can. Um, but I am enjoying the hell out of myself, if I'm going to be perfectly frank. No, into the void! Uh, because it's just... I mean, I've waited so... so dang long for this. So dang tootin' long. Uh, Spielmeister456 Super Chat. Thank you so much. $10. Uh, wonder if this could run on the GameCube because we all know a lot of boys bought the GameCube. A lot of boys did buy the GameCube. All the boys bought the GameCube. <laughs> Been a big fan of you guys for over 10 years. Jeez, thank you. Um, and I do recognize your name from... Yeah, well, I mean, you comment frequently, so... Uh, I've recognized your name from over the years. Here's some cash for Baltica for old time's sake. Ah, oh, you know, there's one place that sells the Baltica. I need to take a pilgrimage over to it. It's a Russian market, uh, but it's about 25 minutes away. I, I need to make a point to get over there and get some Baltica. I've been thinking about it. I've had the itch for some really crappy Baltica beer. <laughs> I've been wanting to go get some, but it's, it's a little bit of a track. But maybe I'll, I'll go make a trip. I've been meaning to do another... Um, into the void. I've been meaning to do another uh, thrifting episode. Because, but the problem is, is, I did a couple thrifting episodes. They were a lot of fun. But it's so hard to find anything decent these days, thrifting-wise. It's hard to piece. Like, you have to go to, like, it's like five days worth, six days worth of thrifting to piece anything together. So, but there is a good thrift shop, a good couple thrift shops near where the Baltica uh, store is. So... I might... So maybe I'll make an excuse to go up there. I love the fact that just like the retail version of the game, you know, you can kind of see uh, Kakariko Village in the in the distance. A lot of people call it Kikariko. For some reason, I've always had cock to it. Kakariko Village. I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> you can see the, the plain-ass village down in the distance. Where is this market? Uh, the market is in, it's like a little Russian store. It's called like New York International Market. It's on the corner of uh, Northwestern Highway and Orchard Lake Road um, in West Bloomfield, right on the, like near the border of like Farmington Hills, basically. I used to work up in that area, which is how I know it exists. But uh, they have all sorts of Russian treats and, and candies, but they also have a bunch of Russian beer and malt beverages as well. So it's uh, the only place I'm aware of that sells Baltica. Every other place that I know of that sold Baltica has stopped selling Baltica. And for those of you that aren't aware, back in the day, our main drink of choice was not 40 ounces, but 51 ounce Balt Baltica number nine. It's a 9% beverage in a plastic bottle. <laughs> and uh, Project 64 just took a dump here. So let's go ahead and get this booted up again. <laughs> I probably wasn't supposed to leave that that map in that in that way. So that's my bad. There we go. And we are up again. But yeah, you know, patronize them if they're still around. Hopefully, I haven't been there since before COVID. But uh they were good people running a good store. Uh oh, how'd this happen? What did I do to get the debug camera going here? Let's do a reset here. Uh, I I tried getting Mupin sixty four to work and I couldn't do it. I don't know if I'm just too dumb or something. I'm not sure. What am I doing here where the debug camera is engaged? I wonder if I... If I 
give it a reset or maybe if I unplug the second or third controller maybe that'll work not sure why it's suddenly doing this but it wouldn't be a live stream without some sort of technical issue would it Let's give this a try. I'm going to see if this works before I put the window back up. Here we go. All righty. Let's go back to where... Here we go. Hyrule Castle. Textures seem different, like the color seems a little bit more um, saturated, which is odd because Hyrule Field seems less saturated. Uh, Lomax, Super Chat, thank you so much. Uh, do you think we'll get lucky and find the rest of the Space World ROM one day? Well, I'm always hoping to get lucky. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm awkward. But uh, yeah, you know, maybe we might. Can't say it'll happen, but uh, this happened. So never expected this to occur. And yet it did, so here we are. Neat. Zell says, I tried, uh, I did this map the other day and it tried to load an old guard actor. Yeah, the palette definitely seems more vibrant. Here's that area where there was that uh, fairy fountain. You had to like get the power gauntlets, whatever the hell they were called. Can I blow this up? Probably not, but we'll see what happens. Nah. And again, you know, I mentioned it earlier, but Zell is working on incorporating these maps, but with actors. Doing the Lord's work, obviously. Basically, he's going to be creating a, um, a more sort of uh, interactive version of all this. This is cool up here. Take me to the top. Here we go. Yeah, certain super vibrant. if I just go through this, this will crash like it did before, so I'm not even going to bother there. Like how I'm under the water, but simultaneously uh, not in water. I'm just going to hop over to the other side of this whole thing. Nope. Oh, not quite far enough. Come on, you. Come on. Oh, yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Into the void. Here's a fun one. The archery. Look how big this friggin' map is. I mean, good God. Button barrel budget film super chat thank you so much if this happened which nobody was counting on there just might be hope that one day we'll get a fully functional one found with actors that would be sweet it absolutely would be luckily right now between these the content that we got from the giga leak what we know about the earlier versions of ocarina of time the ability to mod it you know the stuff left over in like the master quest debug rom etc etc Someone could functionally put together a semi-seamless experience. It wouldn't be exact, obviously. But, um, you know, it would be better than it was before, that's for sure. I like how he's, like, in the bushes with his, like, garbage-ass uh, <laughs> texture. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do you think that the reason these maps were so big was the result of the devs being overambitious about scale and thus the maps got smaller? Uh, that's a question from Hysteria357. I think that they... Two things. I think that they were... Again, I don't know how uh, space expensive these giant maps were, but they were definitely um, originally developing it for the DD, which had more space, so that may be a factor. They probably also wanted this giant experience, but they realized after a while that it became a drag to traverse all of this land, and it was better to just have a, a tight space. You know, like, you, you think about, like, the Captain Toad games, where there's, like, a million things to do in a small space, right? Uh, versus, you know, like having to traverse across a field to talk to somebody. So I, I think they just ultimately opted to, like, make it a, a, a tighter, more intimate experience, and then the moments of, like, big open areas ahead a little bit more wow factor. Epona spawns in this map, by the way. You mentioned the bit today that you kept hearing horses. It's because she's there, lols. Um, yeah, that's I read the comment like that, but... I'm too dumb to figure out where she is, <laughs> to be honest. And here's just an empty field. Oh, it is the void. Now, here's one I actually have not checked out yet. I just haven't had time. I've been kicking out all these videos with spaces and areas I wanted to explore so badly. But... um. I just haven't had time to look at absolutely everything, unfortunately. Well, this is interesting. It's like an actual tent that you can go in that doesn't load like a new area. Here we go. This is this is pretty cool. Huh. This is odd that this is sort of like a seamless area. Oh, well, I guess it shouldn't be that odd because the whole area the whole beta is kind of seamless. Goodness. This really does keep going, huh? Oh. Eventually, I'm sure I'm going to fall off the map here. Let's just see how high we can get. Are these cacti in the final game? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if they were or if they were not. Oh, I think I'm being prevented from going any higher. What's over here? Let's just go take a, a, a jaunt over in this direction. See what, see what we find. I guess I'll just keep pressing forward <laughs> and read the comments here. Goodness, this really does. This is like gives Hyrule Field. Wait, I'm not pressing anything now. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. What? <laughs> what the hell is happening? All right. I think uh, old Project Sixty Four needs a needs a little reset. Sorry about that. It was sort of stuck on pressing forward. Anyways, the fishing pond. 
I think that Gerudo Valley is interesting enough. Maybe I'll, I'll check it out in a uh, future episode if people haven't uh, gotten too bored of this yet. So dark. Not much here. And here is just primitive as hell. It's because you're cursed with third party controller. <laughs> Super chat, 99 cents. Thank you so much. Old reliable productions. It feels like they were kind of like developing inward, so it's like a lot of the stuff that they were doing. Like the, you know, the models, the action. Get that situated. Then the dungeons. Then, like, the different areas. And then, like, it seemed like one of the last things they were doing were, like, Hyrule Field. And trying to get uh, some of those areas, like, you know, Kakariko Village, a little bit more situated. Oh, this is cool. I actually have not been this far into Zora's River. This is pretty neat. Maybe I will show this in Gerudo Valley in an episode. Hi, Def. Hi. Super Chat. Thank you so much. Good to see you still at it, Tony. I remember watching those Dosh and the Giant videos from back in the day. Oh, that was quite some time ago. <laughs> Thank you. This is pretty cool. Lake Hylia. Oh, my goodness. Lake, Hi Lake Hylia. We're going to be here for a while, just kind of slowly walking forward. Hip, hi peeps, 549, super chat, 99 cents with a poop emoji. Thank you. <laughs> here we go. Slowly but surely. A very famous little house over here. Showed this off uh, today in today's video. Everything's starting to blend. I can't go into the dock because that just loads another area, unfortunately. Oh, but I wonder if I can go over here and see what's, what's going on. I wonder if that space between the trees is walkable. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, I'll just walk on some water. Don't mind if I do. Can you try this on native hardware? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. To be honest with you, I know native hardware is a real important thing to some people, especially with like mods and stuff. Um, it's never been so important to me. Like, but I mean, it's sort of a neat thing. Um, with something like this, I, I wouldn't, and maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. Um, but I'd rather play something like this just for my personal gratification in an emulator because everything's a lot clearer and crisper and I can see the details of what they were trying to do. Um, but I know that that differs with everybody. Barakita's Cave. Canadian $5. Thank you so much. The water boxes and whatnot were not formatted properly for these maps. So Z64Me did a quick fix. Arakita also does a lot of great uh, mods that you should check out. And if you if you want to, feel free to put a link to anything you'd like to in the in the description or in the comments. So big, so fast. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Making my way <laughs> to the end of the world. Takes so long. Oh my goodness. Poor Link needs to rest these uh rest these old feet. These old dogs are barking, I imagine. It's hard to walk on water all that way. Come here, get up there. Get up there. There we go. I mean, it just leads to nothing. I assume there would have been like something over here that would have made the whole trek worth your while.
Railer Swim, 299. Skyrim 64, lol. Yeah, kind of. Thank you so much for the super chat. Anon Anon, $10 Canadian. Thank you. I've uh, been watching on and off since the Jamology. <sighs> 11 years ago. Thank you so much. Uh, so if anyone doesn't know what the Jamology is, we started off by reviewing the NBA Jam games and trying to figure out which one was the best because we just would endlessly play those in my parents' basement. Uh, I randomly look at your channel uh, again and suddenly so much beta content. God damn. <laughs> when are you and the boys going to get drunk and play more jam? Hopefully soon. To be honest with you, uh, it's been a very lonely affair uh, with COVID. I, I miss the guys. I miss being able to hang out. We've done a little bit when there's been significant decreases in the numbers here in Michigan. But it's been a little while, so I've been I've been doing a lot of stuff with um, episodes with my wife and such, which has been a lot of fun. But I do uh, I do miss the original crew, to be honest with you. It's it's uh, you know I, I want them back as soon as we can kind of be safe about it. Edward Picard O Picard O two two four super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, do you think Nintendo could go back to Zelda sixty four and give it the Star Fox two treatment, and make something of it? Uh, they could, yes. Will they? No, I mean, they've had their chance to do so with um, the 3DS version. And to some degree, they did, because there were hints in the Giga Leak that there was going to be a boss rush mode uh, in the Master Quest version of the game in Zelda era. And they, they implemented that, which is, you know, them revisiting some of those old ideas. And by watching these, you know, exploring these maps, you can see a lot of these old ideas revisited and such. So I think with Star Fox 2, the situation was they had a complete game. And they never released it, so they, they could just easily release that complete game. You know, maybe with a translation or whatever. With Zelda 64, they don't see this as complete work. They don't see it as anything worth releasing, despite there being uh, a niche of interest. So I don't really see them... You know, they've revisited ideas, but I don't see them revisiting the, the game as a whole. Jonathan G, $2. Howdy, neighbor. Greetings from Plymouth, Michigan. Woo! Hello, fellow Michigander. You're uh, not too far away, as a matter of fact. Now, here's a weird one. The forest building. This may have seemingly been related to the um, uh, sacred forest meadow or whatever. Yeah, same reason Mother One came out here. Yeah, so Mother One, you know, Earthbound Beginnings, or whatever you want to call it, uh, a completed game they just never bothered with. And it was just easy. They already had a translation. They already had everything. They were just like, okay, let's let's please the fans a little bit. Boom. Super easy. But something like, the you know, Mother 3, eh, it's not translated. They, you know, it takes longer to translate it because it's an RPG. And no, Nintendo's super lazy. So <laughs> I just don't see it happening. Oopsie, what am I pressing here? Bottom barrel budget films, $2. Star Fox 2 was a great game. Zelda 64 is just a pitch. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I think I think you're about accurate there. Entrance Jew is here. Hello, sir. Have you tried loading on any of the maps where time doesn't pass at different times of the day? I have not. Um, I don't think any of that interesting data in terms of like... Uh, is this go the Goma area? I don't think any of that would really translator have been saved unfortunately i don't think i could be wrong now this seems like an area that maybe was a part of a demo because they're blocking off a large chunk of it they probably didn't want you to leave and this is much more final than say like the giga leak version that was like a just massive massive kokiri forest area where you have to like traverse like two fields of giant space before you actually get anywhere. Here's our, here's our big boy. This is really ominous. <laughs> this is sort of the sun poking out on a black sky. Uh, super crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, that's kind of, I think that's more or less all there is to see here. So maybe I'll just move on to the next map. The Lost Woods. Here's another one I haven't really fully explored, just out of busyness. Um, oh, that's interesting. 
the game's having some trouble drawing everything in. This is pretty expansive, though. Lost Woods is certainly less maze-like and more just like a confusing field, <laughs> I guess. A babbling brook, if you will. Do you think someone would make a ROM hack with these maps? Um, that's kind of what Zell is doing. It's, I don't think what he's doing is a complete um, start to finish game, but I know some people are working on that. And he is working on, you know, having this be, you know, functional with actors and stuff. Super chat from JG Winnell. I hope for the day Earthbound 64 leaks out. Cool seeing this Zelda content seen in magazines as a kid since I followed Project Reality in 1995. Yeah, really. I mean, it's been fantastic. And, and thank you for the super chat. Here's another area that's just plain Jane. Like, it's just a, a massive area where it's just these mountains are huge but just super you know kind of flat just a t tiny bit of up down but nothing nothing crazy and then this is like just a huge field well i guess it was huge in the model viewer i looked at <laughs> it's really huge when you play it Now this uh, Kakariko Village looks like, as I said in the video that I did the, the other day, like a, a post-World War II cookie-cutter build-up community. The, the soldiers are coming home and got to build some houses real quick. <laughs> big, big area. And of course it would look better and different with all the actors in place and stuff. But it's just kind of, you know, a lot of nothingness. Uh, there's an area over here that has a little bit of uh, elevation. It seems to kind of be like a highlight of a house. Over here, you can see, see the same fence, you know, and leads to the graveyard, but doesn't really in this case. And then over here, you know, you probably have like a death mountain. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. Uh, this little area right here is sort of like probably like a death mountain trail area. Uh, Mel's 177 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Maybe Nintendo can stop being such bad skills and allow modders to create ROM hacks freely. Uh, maybe using this lost content, kind of like how Bethesda does. Well, you know, one can dream. I, I certainly would hope so. I wish they would encourage it, like you mentioned, like Bethesda or Sega, where it's like, hey, you know, you're good at making this. Let's give you a job. You know, you got to realize that these ROM hacks, you know, they, they build buzz and keep people interested uh, between games, right? Captain Bergerson is here. Did a podcast with him last night on the uh, Game Over Jesse Hylian podcast or the Game Over Jesse channel via the Hylian podcast. A non non two dollars. Are of the beta items? Are any of the beta items working? Or are they just icons? Um, I think right now they're just icons. If anyone knows in the chat, maybe you can correct me on that. I know some people are trying to get them to work. So I had mentioned, this is the newer version of Hyrule Field, and I was like, you know, it seems like roped off, like maybe it was, it was for an event, like a race or whatever. And some people in the comments today of the video were like, okay, well, yeah, you know, this was actually utilized for the demo of Ocarina Time to prevent people from leaving the area. And also there was a horse race here. Uh, hence, like, all the different things to jump over. So it kind of makes a little bit more sense when you think about it that way. It was, like, an area that was spe specifically built up, both for a horse race, but also to demo the area. Uh, so people couldn't just leave, you know, when they're playing uh, the demo at Space World or whatever the hell it was. If someone can get the Navi Spirit Medallion spell to work, that would be incredible. You know, I think that wouldn't be too crazy because probably what they use is some variant of the debug camera. And for those that are unaware, there was a spell that supposedly, or apparently, turned you into Navi and let you fly around and, and view different things. But it probably became um, awkward to utilize and kind of really showed off the seams of the game, you know, because it's like you start getting too high and you kind of see where the game kind of falls apart and is pieced together. But regardless of that, there was a... a you know, a code that would allow you to do that. And 
you know, they got rid of it, obviously. But... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I think someone could probably do something like that where maybe it utilizes uh, some version of the debug camera or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it would be impossible. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm too far. Now, here, here is older Hyrule Field. Good, good lord. <laughs> it is just so vastly different. If you haven't seen the video from today, definitely check it out. I ex probably will explore it a little bit more than I do here. But um, it is just so big. Maybe I can get high enough where I can kind of show I don't know how high it'll let me get. But you can kind of see their little house in the distance. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not getting too high up, but you can kind of see there's that house in the distance with a little, like, garden. And then probably the big feature here is, uh, you know, the castle. Just absolutely ginormous. And there's an area, a couple areas over here that I showed off today. There's like a tombstone thing on the side of the castle, which on the Hylian podcast last night we were talking and being like, hey, you know, this area of Hyrule Castle never really, uh, like, or Hyrule Field on the side of the, the castle walls never really had anything in the real game, retail game. There was like a place to bomb. There was like a Poe. But like overall, it was kind of boring. So it was like it almost felt like like a holdover from something else. And that may have been what it is because there's like some sort of door or tomb here. There's obviously something to do over here. You know, this is different. But it's, uh, who knows what it would have been, right? Oops. Okay, here we go. Yannick Brands, Super Chat. Thank you so much. I just realized that I've been watching your videos for almost a decade. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Crazy that we've been making them for uh, a decade, decade plus. Uh, Juliet Lafira. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Super Chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All of these Super Chats will very much help with uh, shipping some of the items that are uh, we're going to be working with in the near future. There's some pretty interesting stuff. I think that you were like, not not Zelda related, but uh, some pretty crazy stuff. Like we're going to be doing some wild things with an Apple Pippin and also um, a Game Boy Advance developer unit, uh, courtesy of developer Jeff on Twitter. So I think that you guys will really like that, both the Apple Pippin and the Game Boy Advance video that we're ultimately going to do. Have they found any models of the actors? Uh, no, I don't believe any models were were found. Hey, look, it's the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> oh, yeah, so um, Arikita's Cave says maybe the Navi spell would work with the R ring that you had fun with, well, just uh, with height limitations or need height limitations. For those of you that are unaware, um, she had made a mod of basically the R-Ring, because there's an R-Ring in the code of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And I was like, wouldn't it be cool if you could play as that R-Ring? So a mod was created that allowed me to play as that R-Ring. So you can check out that video if you would like. Uh, but yeah, that's actually a really good idea so that, that you could kind of implement some of those ideas or that, that uh, ability uh, into the Navi code. That's actually really cool. Good thinking. Are there three models for the beta items? Huh? Um, I don't know. I've mostly messed with the map, so I'm not 100% on that. Oopsie doodles. By the way, Arikita, if you're, you're still there and if I'm pronouncing your name properly, hopefully I am, um, would love to work with you again if you're interested. 
It was really nice working with you. I, I know we only did that one project a couple of years back with the R-Wing, but it was a lot of fun, and I appreciate you doing it. So if you ever have anything else you'd like to show off, you know, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to, to, to show it off. John says, Tony overdoses on beta content and dies. Any percentage? <laughs> yeah. That's how I'll go for sure. John knows me. John, you got it? What is up with this door? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a door with no frame. What, if I, what happens if I go in it? Yes, I made it. <laughs> John, let me know when Retro Taco gets some Wario games in. My son has been fascinated with the idea of Wario. I keep having to tell him he's not Mario's brother, but he keeps telling me that he is. And he's like, who's the green guy? And I'm like, that's Luigi. And he's like, well, Wario is Mario's brother. I'm like, no, he's kind of like his rival. But he doesn't really know what rival means. So it's like, he's kind of like his enemy, but he's kind of not. He's obsessed with, you know, collecting treasure. Because he's been playing Mario Odyssey lately, and he really wants to play Wario now. So, let me know when that Wario hits the shop. <laughs> he's interested in the abstract concept of Wario. He is actually interested in the abstract concept of Wario. I showed him some gameplay footage from, uh, like, Wario Land 3 for the Game Boy Color. Which I should have bought up from your shop when it was available, but he did not. I didn't realize he'd be interested. EMK, Super Chat, thank you so much. Hey there, uh, do you think this would work on an EverDrive or where the map size is uh, light my child on N64 on fire? I don't know. Uh, you know, someone asked that earlier, and I, I just, I'm not sure. Uh, but maybe there's someone who's watching who's a little bit more tech savvy than I am that would be able to answer that. I love these doors, how they're not attached to anything. Now I can't get out. Get out of here. Oh, water temple. I don't really remember the layout of the water temple. Like the retail water temple, just because I just I rarely return to it. So I probably won't be able to point out too much here. I mean, this is obviously the boss room, but... I don't know. Whoopsie doodles. Was I supposed to use that door instead of walk through that door? Yes, I was. <laughs> I don't remember there being a bridge here. I remember you having to like use the hook shot to get over to that boss area, I thought. Again, the water temple is probably one of the temples I'm least familiar with. A lot of the beta stuff that's come out um, over the years has not been really temple oriented. So my memories of the exact temples are more vague than like the air, the other areas of the game, like the villages and such. Even though I played Ocarina of Time through a number of times, it's just the temples are complicated enough that I don't recall. This water temple is extremely different. Yeah, it feels different. I don't remember there being any bridge. I, it seems like the layout is much different. Hey, there's no water! Obviously. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it feels like uh, vastly earlier. <laughs> But I just, you know, again, the moment-to-moment -moment water temple, I, I just, I don't recall that well. First time I caught one of your streams, but just want to say that I love your content. I've been watching for over a year, and you're one of the few content creators I keep notifications on for. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It helps grow the channel. It helps um, us fight the, the horrible YouTube al algorithm. So <laughs> I appreciate you putting on those notifications. Too much temple, not enough water. IGN. Two out of ten. I love that you can walk through the doors, but it'll just send you into the void. 
I mean, obviously, but from a gameplay perspective, it's strange. This is really cool, though. Lots of giant empty corridors. Yeah, that's kind of the name of the game with the earlier Water Temple, or earlier Zelda 64, just giant, empty, nothingness. So many ladders. Looks more like an underground city than a temple. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, this whole area is pretty wild. I mean, it still has like the elevation differences that the original water or the retail water temple had, but it definitely feels foreign. Even though, like I said, my memory of the water temple is a little more a little more vague than other areas of the game. to the top, Link. You know what I appreciate about this earlier build? Is that in the retail version, there wouldn't be anything to stand on here. There'd be like an image maybe, but you'd like fall through it. <laughs> but like everything you can stand on. Everything has collision in the beta. Goodness. Whoopsie. <laughs> Should we do that again? <laughs> Beta question part five of two. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's try to land on something this time, shall we? There we go. <laughs> what is the Holy Grail of beta dumps? I would say it's this, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm having probably the most fun with this than any other dump I've seen. I mean, all of them are pretty exciting to some degree, but uh, this is just pretty wild. This is so dark. Eh, Fire Temple's never been super my my favorite here. Mess around with the Forest Temple. Let's just take a quick peek here. I remember this game, this temple being so dark in the retail version of the game. I remember I couldn't play it during the day on my CRT TV at my parents' house because, like, if any reflection was on the TV, it would nothing would be visible. I just would not be able to see anything. Like, I had to bump the brightness up on this. I had to, like... Oh, that's odd. <laughs> nice. Ah! It's just so hard to see anything. That's a nice room. I'm assuming this will probably also just be a room. <laughs> Hmm. 
back up the stairs with me. Here we go. I want to take a look at some of the exterior areas of the forest temple. Come on. Yes, yes. You can do it. You can do it. Use the door, Link. There you go. Good job. Honestly, if you had the choice between ending world hunger or be a playtester for Zelda 64, would you pick? I probably would end world hunger. Um, and then just hope that maybe we'll find Zelda 64 one day. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of starving kids out there. <laughs> I wouldn't want to damn them because I wanted to be a playtester. <laughs> Huh, I don't remember that being there. At least looking like this. I remember this exterior area. Huh. This really is fascinating. Where am I? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Juliet Lafira. Super chat, thank you so much. Uh, you pronounce it perfectly. Beta deck. Deku Tree it looks like Twilight Princess Water Temple layout. I also recognize the other elevating platforms in the window room, but reworked into the slingshot room. You do amazing work. Keep it up. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for the kind words. Now, if only I could figure out where I am. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, come on. Probably should have just walked, that would have been a little bit faster. Alas! Wait, is this the beginning? I think I just turned myself around. But if it is, there is something I want to check out. Yes, it is. Oh, never mind. <laughs> In the retail version, you can go up on those, those uh, you know, you hook shot around on those trees for a little bit. go now i believe that zell had posted something on twitter saying that he had gotten come on you had gotten the uh mouth over here to work which was a good accomplishment so cool bryce bora Super chat, thank you. Uh, thanks for all the great content, and thank you for streaming on YouTube. Well, you're very welcome. I stream on YouTube because that's where the audience is, for me anyways, and I'm probably too dumb to stream on Twitch. <laughs> Actually, in, re in reality, um, a lot of people have wanted me to stream on, on Twitch, but I just, I have no audience there really yet, so or at all. So it kind of makes more sense for me to stream here and... Focus on YouTube for now. <laughs> now, I showed this off um, pretty thoroughly in a video last week. So I'm not going to show off the whole thing. There's just so many rooms. I've been kind of like speeding through these dungeons a little bit more because there's just, there's so much content. I mean, I could walk into every single room, but I think the pure, everyone but the purists would, would kind of get, get bored with it, to be honest with you. Um, you also have to have such a memory of every single area of the game. So this area right here, by the way, this leads to Goma, but this reminds me just aesthetically and sort of uh, 
elevation wise of like the stone, I think it's the stone tower area in Majora's Mask is what this kind of like reminds me of without the elevators or platforms or anything. But it just kind of feels that way. I don't know, maybe they took inspiration from it and did something with it in that game in Majora's Mask, or maybe they didn't. Maybe it's just in my head. Not sure. Now here's something I want to show off because this was in early screenshots and we actually covered a mod of someone recreating um, Arrow, I believe, recreating this area in a, uh, in a Zelda mod. But, you know, obviously he was just sort of going off what he thought it would be. And at the time we all thought that this was the Wood Temple. We always thought it had nothing to do with uh, the Great Deku Tree because who would carve windows into the Great Deku Tree? Why would it look like a building, right? So obviously they got rid of these. But the assumption was that this was always a different place. There must be a separate separate place from the Wood Temple, or rather the Forest Temple, a separate place from the Great Deku Tree. This must be different, was the idea. Well, it was not. It was not different at all. It was the Great Deku Tree all along. And this room, you know, there were some, like, what are they called? Deku Baba, those plants that try to kill you. Um all around here that Link would fight in early screenshots and stuff. And this room, you know, like, uh, maybe it was Captain uh, Bergerson said, this room is legendary. It really is. Like, this is it, this defined a lot of our expectations regarding the game back in the day when we saw these screenshots. Deku Scrubs. What did I say? Deku Babas? I don't know. Maybe those are the bigger versions. Shrubs, Scrubs, Pugs, Deku Pugs. The Deku Pugs try to get you... So here's a fun one. For some reason, this is a game of the floor is lava. <laughs> this is uh, one of the dungeons from the Giga Leak that I, I showed off a while back. But unlike in the Giga Leak version, the floor is lava. I don't know why. And here we are, where the floor is still very much lava. <laughs> I love how it's the first item in the menu. I think Z64 me was like just effing with us. Because I played a build of this um, where the floor is not lava. <laughs> but unfortunately, in this build, the floor is lava. So that's fun. Maybe I'll spare him a little bit of suffering by <laughs> moon jumping up this corridor. It's trying to kill you before you figure out how to unlock Luigi in that plaque. Do I have any, like, health items here? I do. Ha! Take that. Take that! The floor is lava. Ooh, so, so much lava. <laughs> Really some powerful magic here when you think about it. The floor being so uh, lava-esque. Poor Link. Poor, poor bastard. It's punishment for getting into this dungeon. Yeah, it is, apparently. Can I go on here? I can't remember. Nope. Poor Link. Poor, poor Link. <laughs> Red tunic. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let's try this whole sh whole shebang again. Come on. All right, let me go into the adult version. And let me... Debug camera. No! What have I done? Let's just test this here real quick. Aha! Not only did somehow... <laughs> um, oh. It's hurting me, just not as quickly. So that's nice. Or is it? Yeah, it's hurting me. It just, it's just not as, as brutal as it was before. Uh, Juliet, uh, $5 Super Chat. Thank you again. That room before Goma also looks like the room in the Forest Temple with grabbing hands and twisting corridors. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? 
Um, still burn the red tunic just slower. <laughs> Sometimes you'll still get burned. It only protects you for so long. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go explore again. Oh my goodness gracious. Check a setting real quick here, everybody. All right. Well, I'm probably only going to stream for another five minutes or so. I'll be wrapping it up here. Um, but... What is this? What is, what is happening? What is this door? Hover boots will make you burn slower. That must be the, the beginning. I must have looped around or something. Yeah, I did. I'm a dumb dumb. Alas, big old dumb dumb. Do 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 do. All right, I'm gonna go this way now because that was just a big old loop to the beginning. I forgot about that. Do 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 do. Poor Link. Can you imagine being Link? The amount of exercise you get in a single day. Like pulling yourself self up from stuff, running around, horseback riding, fighting. Goodness. This area is more legendary than the Wood Temple. It kinda is. I mean it was it was featured in a lot of the promotional materials, the screenshots, and video that was sent out. Um, a lot of the early promotional uh, like VHS tapes had footage from this this dungeon in it so we kind of got to know this dungeon from a promotional marketing standpoint uh, very early on and then it was nowhere to be seen like most of the stuff they showed off and he doesn't sleep for days why is the floor lava why wouldn't the floor be lava haven't you ever played the floor is lava i guess i'm just doing the same thing i just did but with less damage on link because i i'm adult with the the how do we know these aren't fake? They are not. They come from a very trusted source. Um, he sleeps for seven years, so probably makes up for it. Yeah, this is not supposed to be lava, I don't believe. I don't, maybe they are. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> So I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today, guys. Got a good. Uh, how long did we stream here today? Let's take a look. Average watch time is six minutes. That's pretty good for a for a stream, as a matter of fact. Um, how long have we been going? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> a while, apparently. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. If this is something that you enjoy, you know, maybe I'll try to go a little bit more in depth with uh, the dungeons on a future stream. Um, and aside from that, you know, again, really appreciate all you guys. I'm, I'm like hyped that we have so many of you on the stream today. Like the comments are going quicker than they ever really have in our in our uh, um, live stream. So yeah, like really appreciate you guys. And uh, for those that that are, are just tuning in, I'm leaving. But I will, I will have this be uh, a public video, so you can you can catch up on it um, after the fact if you'd like. So yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. I'm gonna go hang out a bit and relax. It's been a very very busy day, but uh, love y'all. We'll see y'all next time. And stop. Or should we just wait for Link to die? Let's. Let's just see how long it takes. Let's see how long it takes with the old Zora tunic. <laughs> oh, this is not pleasant. This is not pleasant. The camera's zooming in. It's like, no. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. Not good. Not good. <laughs> I don't know why the language is in French. I'm not sure. This is in you may no link. No. Alas, <laughs> the suffering ends. Everybody quick F in the chat before we go. I gotta go, but quick F in the chat, please. 
I'm going to also throw a, a nice F in the chat here for our boy Link. There we go. Nice. <laughs> a thousand Fs. <laughs> yes. Oh, you guys are great. This is fun. Please stream again. I'll be here. Well, I'll, I will definitely be streaming. Um, hopefully some Zelda stuff. If not, I there's some Zelda or some uh, not Zelda, uh, some N64 homebrew stuff I want to do. A non and on super chat. Oh, the Fs are going so fast. Thank you again. Um, do we have a title screen for this bill? If so, it is possible. If it is possible, is it possible to make the game thing that's running on a DD like in the retail? Where the title screen alters also bring back the Baltica. It's the best. F. <laughs> I'll try to bring back the Baltica. I don't think there's a title screen though. Stream for another hour. No, I'm not going to stream for another hour. I appreciate you guys. And I hope that you guys all catch us next time. If you want to make sure that you, you uh, catch all of our videos, make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell. That's the best way to know when we're live streaming. We don't always stream Zelda content. Um, sometimes it's, you know, we're going to do some homebrew N64 stuff in the future. Sometimes it might be Animal Crossing because that's just fun. And I like hanging out with you guys in sort of a chill atmosphere. So um, it may vary. But, uh, you know, our, our content on our channel is, is a lot of, you know, obviously review, beta, preservation content. The live stream stuff varies a little bit more, but we'd love to have you regardless. So, um, Pleasure Slave says, please. Well, that would be something a Pleasure Slave says. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, we watched Link die. Appreciate you all again. <clears throat> Before my voice goes here, I've been talking for so long.